Okay, as you guys can see, I have my helper back out with me. She enjoys doing um, the kindergarten packet work way more than she likes doing the fifth grade packet work. So she made the mask um, for me this week. And Shaylee picked out her color scheme. This guy's a Triceratops. So he is going to be important today. There's several Triceratops activities coming your way. Well, one, but then several mask activities coming your way, maybe I should say. So, first, how did you make the mask first, Shaylee? Would you like to pop over here so they can see you and tell them? She likes to make videos with her mother. <laughs> I colored it first. Okay, so first, color your mask. Even before you cut it out, go ahead and color it. Okay, what, what second? And then... I cut it out. Cut it out. And she cut around the edge. She went mm -hmm. ahead and did that. Um, if you don't have kid scissors at home, your parents might want to just go ahead and cut it out for you. If they don't let you use the big scissors, they might be a little too sharp. But um, what happened in the middle? Well, I couldn't do it, so I asked the parent to help me. So I cut out the eyeballs for her. Um, all I did was I just folded it a little bit, put a snip in the middle, and then cut around the ring of it. So it was pretty easy. If we had been at school, I would have shown you guys how to do it because you would have had um, your kid scissors. All right, what did we do next? And then uh, we uh, poked holes right here. Mm -hmm. We had a hole puncher, but if you don't, just use your scissors. You have your mom or dad or grandma, grandpa, whoever's helping you, poke some holes right there in the corner of it. And then what do we do to the string? We taped the strings there. But even before we taped it, we... Cut, it. cut ours in half because you guys just had one long string taped to it. So we cut it in half. I taped the um, strings in there so I, they're not tied in here or anything. They're just taped on there. And then all I had to do was put it behind her and tie it to her. And voila, we have, not Shaylee anymore, but Triceratops. Yeah. And... Listen, today you guys are going to read about Triceratops with me. Um, we're going to um, have a song that's called The Dinosaur Stomp. This is a cool one this morning, so don't skip it. It's not the one from yesterday. was kind of um, just one to read along with. Today is the actual dance dance. So put your mask on and do the dinosaur stomp. Um, then there's a couple of videos. You guys that went on Flipgrid, whoop, whoop, thank you. Um, I used some of your ideas from Flipgrid and picked out a couple of short videos that's going to talk a little bit about what you shared about dinosaurs. If you didn't get on Flipgrid yet, do it because I love to see your videos. It's fun for us to be able to see each other. And then last, oh, it stopped raining, whoop, whoop. So go outside, play, have fun. I didn't put a math activity to do online. I want you guys to get some fresh air today. We've been cooped up for too long because of this rain. I did put on there though, when you get outside, count to 100. You can do some exercises out there like we used to do at school, changing it up every time you get to a new 10. So um, knee lifts, jumping jacks, running in place, whatever you think of. See if you can get um, a parent at home to do it with you. All right, see you guys soon. Say bye, try. Bye. <laughs> All right, later taters.